All right, I hate to say it, you're not gonna like this tip. I don't know what I'm gonna end up titling this video to try and get people to watch it because everyone needs to watch it. And yet if I titled it, do your homework, no one would watch it. Cause like, who hasn't told you to do your freaking homework, right? That's like day one in every class, every teacher's like, do your homework, it'll help you learn and reinforce and blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you, man, as a tutor who's been doing this forever, OMG, if you don't do your homework and you put it off till the day it's due, like, you know, so many teachers are collecting homework the day of the exam now, like from the whole chapter, you're gonna be, oh my God, that's how you get killed on an exam. That's how you get killed in a class, that's why you end up dropping, okay? So now I'm gonna give you some tips though on how to be able to do your homework and do it smarter and actually get it done. Because often what happens is, you know, I've met so many students I worked with, like I don't, I have very few students ever I worked with who actually do their homework on time. They always either save it for the day I'm gonna be there, or they, worse, just cram it up the day before the exam. And that is not a good situation. So everyone wants to do better, and usually students who end up getting crushed on a test and cramming and all that, they're always like, next exam, you know, next chapter, I'm gonna do better. But how do you do better? Because what happens is you just got crushed on the last test. You know, you know, maybe not even crushed, maybe you got a C, but you're like, oh man, I really needed to be on this class. Blah, blah, blah. So you're like, I'm gonna do better. But then you sit down and do the homework and it's a new chapter and once again you're kind of lost so you're not even sure how to do the homework you want to do better you sort of promised yourself you're going to work harder and stay up with class this this chapter and yet you're already falling behind because you can't figure it out so there's two things you can do one is you've got to check your answers in the back of the book because if you think you know how to do it it's really important that you actually verify that you know how to do it by checking your answers in the back if you have one of those teachers who assigns the odd problems, but only the even ones are in the back of the book, guess what, man? Do a couple of even problems first. Make sure you definitely know how to do the problems in that one little section of the homework, and then go and do the odds that you can't check in the back of the book. Because it's really important that when you do a bunch of problems, it turns out you're actually doing them the right way. Otherwise, you're just, I wouldn't say you're mislearning stuff, you're just completely wasting your time. And at some point, you're gonna find out that you were doing them the wrong way, and hopefully that when you find out is not on a quiz or test, right? So just check your answers. Oh my gosh, that is so important. Uh, the second thing you wanna do is, and this is really gonna help you, is to find some videos or something to help you do them. So that's where the internet has actually made it so incredible for people. You can go to our site, thattutorguy.com, where I have videos covering like every single nook and cranny of every math class that we cover. So college algebra, calculus, pre-calc, trig, whatever. I've got a video for every single type of problem in all those classes. So that's one way that you can learn the stuff. If you don't understand your lectures, you can find math videos that show you how to do the problems and then you can do your homework. So day one of the, day one of the new chapter, first lecture, you're totally lost, whatever, it's some crazy concept, but homework's assigned. So you go home and that night, that afternoon, the next morning at the coffee shop, whatever, you go online, you watch the, you, you crack your homework, see what type of problem it is, find those videos either on YouTube or on our site and you learn how to do it right then and you do your homework and it won't take that long. It'll take like 30 minutes, maybe 45 if it's like a bad section, you know, but learn how to do it. And then you can actually stay up with your homework and what you're going to find once you start doing your homework and checking your answers in the back and using the internet if you need to, to learn how to do the topics, what you're going to find is that, that when that day comes around that the homework's due, like the day before the test or the day of the test, you'll have a big pile of homework ready to go. And then what does that study se session look like? It's not you trying to burn through 50 pages of homework. It's just you saying, huh, you know, I pretty much already know all this stuff because I did all my homework. And because I did my homework, I kind of understood what was happening in lecture a little bit. And then the videos online, I, I understood those really well because I had been working through in a steady kind of way. So I had enough time to watch all the videos instead of having to like burn through just the first three minutes of each one because I didn't have enough time to study. And you get to that day before the final, and you're just like, oh, all I have to do is do a practice test, and I'm done. And if you want tips on how to do practice tests better, definitely watch my other videos on uh, thattutorguy.com slash study tips, and they're probably on the YouTube channel as well. And also, you might want some cookbooks. That's my number one study tip besides homework. Watch that video as well. But by the time you get to the, the final, the day before the test, you're just gonna make yourself a practice test You'll work it. Maybe you'll make some clean copies of your previous exams or previous quizzes from that chapter, whatever's gonna be on the test. You know, you've got quizzes covering some of that same material. So rework those. 
mix up the order and work them out of order. And all you'll be doing the day before the exam is spending like maybe three hours tops working practice tests. Like, oh my gosh, that is a wonderful way to live. Much less stress, much less panic, and it's all because you did your homework in order and spread it out. You took advantage of online resources and the answers in the back of your book to make sure you actually knew what you're doing the whole time. Believe me, it's a beautiful thing once you start doing your homework. Um, so that's all I can say. Please do it and please use online resources. If not our site, somebody else's site or YouTube, you know, you can find a lot of pretty good stuff on YouTube. Um, it'd be a little harder to find on YouTube because, well, it's all out of order. There's all this mishmash. Some people are good. Some people are not. Some people have one good video, but then you can't find them covering the rest of the topics you need from that chapter. So anyway, point is do something. Use something to get through homework because if you don't do your homework, you're going to be hosed again and again and have to retake the class.